Hey guys, Dan Heilman and back with another Watcher of Realms video. Today we're on the test server. We are going to test Valderon. I've got a lot of requests to test him. We're going to do that today in the guild boss. Um, we are going to try a chaotic team in the guild boss. Hasn't really been that strong uh, previously. We got a couple new heroes. Uh, we got a buff to Luguru. I'll use Luguru. I will use Val. I will use Valderon wherever he is. Way down here I will test him first at just a zero and then we'll go up and up and see what kind of damage we can deal with him I will put him in probably put him in a bleed artifact for now just to give him more damage I am using Luguru so we should be able to get bleed up um, fairly consistently I will use a couple healers like um, my girl Elowen here I will use I'll probably just use piercers as well on this team. So, all right, let's go. Um, we will drop everyone in. We'll try out. Um, let me kind of just go over the gear, or sh I'll do the gear after. We'll do um, the spotlight first. We'll look at the damage. We're going to do guild boss mo mostly in this video. Um, I don't have access to Immortal Codex on the test server, so it's pretty much guild boss. Um, I can do arena, but it's not super competitive because it's like mostly bots and stuff in here. So, anyways, all right, let's go. So we're going to use our play test mode. This is the team here we're gonna use um, we got Araka just for Silas and Hex we got some healers we got Torador just to buff let's go okay so all right so very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our Silas and our Hex down very first um, then we drop Dolores and we're gonna drop hollow down as well there we go. Then we're going to drop Valderon down. We're going to give him the buff using Torador. And then we'll get rid of our Torador. We will drop um, Luguru down. And then I will give the buff there. Uh, nope, not yet. Nope, I lied, I lied, I lied. Um, we will actually first drop um, Val and then buff her then get rid of Araka, then drop Elowen. Okay, I had to figure out how to get all the buffs on there. There we go. So we got all the buffs. We're going to wait for the alts here. We're going to pop that, get everyone's alts going quick, and then we're going to pop them all. One, two, three, four, five. He has an interesting um, rage threshold. He can go over the limit. Uh, we'll pop Elowen now. I popped Sadie too soon, didn't I? Let's see. Just a little bit too soon, I think. Let's see, can I get the heal off? Oh yeah, we're good. Good. We're good. Okay. All right. So we'll. Uh, all right. We'll wait here a sec. All right. He gets his ultimate qu back quite quickly. Valder on here. Okay. Interesting. There we go, we'll get some rage regen for the team going. You can see he's already, you can kind of see 150%. We'll pop one, two, three, four, we'll pop him. Beautiful. We will pop um, our healing ultimate there. We can always drop our melee if we get our veil getting down kind of low. We want her to be kind of low, but we don't want her to die, of course, so. Okay, she's getting a heal now. That's fine. We're getting back around to our hollow alt. I'm really curious to see what kind of damage we can get on everyone with this team here. Okay, we'll just pop Hex early because uh, Hex has a very, very long ultimate. So he can uh, easily keep his ultimate up through all of this nonsense. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pop them all. Rip them. Let's go. I see some big hits from someone. I don't know who it is. I, this is my first time doing this live, so we'll see what kind of damage I... Uh, I'm curious. I'm really curious how he's going to do here. My fail's doing pretty good without the Elowen heals. Quite interesting. Oh, pop... Uh, pop Hollow. Get it going again. Good old Hexalt. That stays up quite a long time. We'll pop that. We will pop the rest of them. There 
There we go. Okay, going good so far. We're halfway um, to 50k. Let's see if uh, he's going to be worth it. Really interested to see um, how this team ends up. Because before, Chaotic wasn't the best. I'm going to throw a heal down just to uh, keep everyone alive there. We're going to pop Hex soon here because he gets a long one. There we go. Pop Elwin. And here we go. We'll pop everyone again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Looking good so far. Apollo. Okay, we're doing good. We're going to heal our Bell there. Pop Elowen. On cooldown, we're at 40k. We're going to hit that 50k, no problem. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, looking good. I'm really interested to see his damage versus some of the other ones. He's had a lot of hype around him, so let's see if it lives up to it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is it gonna? Is it gonna? There we go. We'll rip them all right there. I think we're gonna barely make 50k, if even. Are we gonna make 50k? I don't know. Didn't have our hex going. Let's uh, drop this here. Heal. Ooh, keep her alive. Barely. Nope. Didn't make it. Alright, so now we will drop... Um, we'll drop Torador, get a little bit extra defense pen. We're going to get very close to 50k. We're going to get very, very close. We're going to pop. We're going to pop, pop, pop. 11 seconds left. We're barely going to make it. If not, are we going to make it? I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know if we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. Barely. Nope. Oh, barely. Yeah, okay. It goes to zero seconds, not two seconds. Is that a change? Okay, so it's not my highest, but uh, I'm going to update it manually because I want to mess around with the Awakens. Okay, so I am going to overwrite my good team that I have. Let's check the damage first. Um, 67. Not terrible. Oh, Luguru, quite disappointing. Interesting. Okay. Wow. I must have some weird gear on uh, Silas. That's not very good. Okay, interesting, interesting. All right, so I'm going to hit okay. I will upload it. Um, that was Valderon. He did okay. He just did okay. Um, I had him in Scarlet Hunt. Maybe I should have him in Wailing Skull. Um, I could awaken him as well. Let's see what we got going on here. When deployed, gains one stack of chaos vitality. During that period, the ultimate becomes unavailable. Okay, I don't know how that would do things. Uh, increased faction ally damage, okay. During chaos vitality, the hero's attack ignores 50%. So that would be quite good. I don't know if I want to test this guy with a bunch of awakens because he's a lord. And I always get a million comments like, oh, Dan using A5 lords again. I like testing you know the end game capability of these heroes you know the upper end capability not the bare minimum capability so um i have these two only a3 we could change that um I, interesting not quite how i thought he would do um he is kind of an aoe hero right uh let's see what we got going on here each uh unit damage further increases valderon damage dealt by five percent and reduces his damage received each unit damaged further. Okay. Um, again, they want to be low HP. So that's quite hard to do in stuff like Guild Boss. That's for sure. Um, maybe the ideal team for them is using one of the healers that kind of keeps them alive. Um, maybe I do try to mess around with... Uh, what's her name? What's what's her what's her name? What's her name? I have her. Um, her name is uh, totally blanking out right now. Um, yeah, this girl right here. Carnelian. I wonder if we try to mess up something like that and keep them low low health, right? Hmm. 
It's a thought. It's a thought. I thought. Um, I thought Luguru was gonna do better as well. I thought Luguru was gonna do better. Um, for sure. He deals a lot more damage when he is low HP. Got him in the Scarlet Hunt. Um, he disappointed me for sure. He disappointed me. I thought he was gonna be a little bit better. I got him in a pretty decent gear set. Not amazing. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's um. Let's awaken him a little bit, and then we'll do it again. We'll see what happens. When deployed, gains one stack. I don't know how this is going to mess up. This might mess stuff up. Uh, let's see how this works. Let's uh, awaken him up a little bit and see see what happens here. So, um, there we go. One stack. Let me just go back and auto it now using that same team. All I did was change him to A1. Um, we'll come back in a minute here, and I will go over that damage, and we'll talk about it. Okay, we actually lost damage on that one somehow. Um, let's see if he did better damage at all. Um, let's see what he did here. I think these guys are going to be best in arena. Um, just 60k, just just not really uh, doing that amazing, man. Just not really doing that amazing. Luguru sucks still. He sucks. Um, unfortunate. We have the changes to Luguru. Let me go look at Luguru and see uh, see what I'm doing wrong here with this uh, build here. So we don't have we have an awakened A3. Penetration would be nice. Um, the rest is just stun. I have him skilled up. I have him in decent gear, not not amazing. Um, just crit damage, attack, um, some crit rate. You know, some decent little stats here. Nothing amazing. Um, hmm. Bleed, all attacks, hit two targets in a row. Um, hmm, okay, not amazing. We got uh, some pretty good gear going on on him. Um, we got crit damage, attack, crit damage. Uh, this is actually my Silas gear that he was dealing really good damage with and disappointing on Valderon, honestly. Um, okay, so we did that one. Now, I guess we'll try another you know maybe we don't have bleed up all the time so let's uh try a different artifact um on him and then uh actually maybe i'll do it on and yeah, maybe i'll replace like all their artifacts honestly um she's skilled up she's got good gear right and she's got pretty solid gear um let, she's got serpent's kiss which is fine um, we got this going on here. Maybe we'll just do no bleed artifacts. We'll just do Wailing Skulls. Um, I think it might mess up my auto run, but we'll just see if we can get this to work here. And then, uh, let's just hit auto. Let's see if it bricks it and puts the guys down and ruins my life, but we'll see what happens here. That's a problem with the Wailing Skull artifact. Looks like I got everyone down. Okay. Let's see if we got, uh, let's see if we got buffs on everyone. Buffs. Buffs. Luguru didn't get a buff somehow. How'd Luguru not get a buff? Not sure. Alright, we'll see if this does any better. Testing a couple things here. I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. Uh, we got a little bit better. We got a little bit better. Let's see how we did. We got 2k more blood. Um... Let's see how changing my artifacts helped there. We'll see what we got going on here. A little bit better. A little bit better on Valderon. Still, I mean, 80, 80 mil for a Chaotic Lord. Pretty, uh, Luguru is very disappointing. I saw a video saying he's the number one damage dealer in the game now after his buff, and um, I don't know about that. Um, he is quite disappointing. I don't know how, how I built him differently than other people, but um, okay. Now, I guess what we'll do is we'll, we'll make uh, Valderon A5, and we'll test him yet again. So we go into the fight mode. Uh, maybe I should get the rest of these guys A5 as well. Why not? Just YOLO. Let's just get all these guys. We'll give him a little bit more penetration. That'll be nice. That'll boost his damage for sure. We'll try A5 everyone, see how that does. Lethal Strike stun. Um, I'm that's totally useless for Guild Boss, but we'll make him A5 just um just cuz. There we go. Okay. Um Do we make him A5? I think we just make him A3. Ooh, we should try the A2. We'll try the A2. We'll go up 
one time each for him and we'll show the damage. Maybe I'll make her a five. Um, oopsie, don't use that. Okay, we'll do crit. And then I think the last one is pretty solid, right? Let's see what this last one is. During the ultimate, there's a 50% chance to accumulate two stacks. Um, okay, fine, great. Should be a nice buff, beautiful. We'll rip these again and we'll see, uh, we'll see how everyone does here. Uh, was that everyone A5 now? I think everyone's A5 besides my Valderon. Okay, let's go. We'll redo it. We'll uh, show you the end screen, and then uh, we'll move on. We'll try to make him uh, A3, A4, A5, and see what happens. See if we can boost this guy's damage up. Um, I don't know. Maybe he needs to be A5. Obviously, if he needs to be A5 to deal great damage um he's not going to be great but i think he's really going to shine in arena i don't think this is really his place um but we'll see we'll see uh we'll see what happens here okay there we go 50 uh 2.8 let's see uh let's see how that works uh 90 <laughs> these two doing disappointing i i I'm not doing, this is not a good run for her. It's not a spotlight on her. Um, she keeps on dying early and getting replaced with Torador. So, um, but okay. We got 90 mil almost now. It's just okay. It's just okay. I expected him to be insane. And uh, that's not really the case, at least so far. So, um, okay. We'll uh, keep going. We'll keep on awakening him a little bit. Again, I'm only doing one run, but I'm not going to do five runs and average it. Because I'd be here like literally all year doing this so um here we go ignores 50 percent defense i feel like this should be quite good for him i feel like this should be quite large for him um then we'll go penetration then we'll get more attack speed okay we'll do it we'll just we're gonna rinse and repeat all these um i won't show you each run i'm gonna tabulate the results in a spreadsheet and come back to you okay all right this is velder on a3 he finally passed my bad geared Silas. Um, Silas normally does a lot more than that, but he's in. I put the really good gear on Valderon. So, again, kind of disappointing. Um, we'll get him up to A4 and we'll try again. This one is the penetration. So, we'll see if this has a big effect and uh, we'll run him again. We'll come back in a second. All right, here we go. There is A4 damage. Still not crossing the, nine, the 100 mil. Um, okay. Okay, uh, all right, now we're gonna go in, we're going to make him A5, we'll come again, and then um, we will basically put all the details in a spreadsheet and talk about it. So let's go, let's get him A5 real quick. Let's go in here, hit Awaken, A5, very last one. This gives attack speed. Um, I don't know that that's gonna affect it that much. Only 130, uh, maybe that, uh, that is kind of a lot of attack speed, we'll, we'll see. All right, we'll come back, we'll hit auto, and then we'll tabulate all those results, put them together, all that good stuff. Be back in a second. Okay, there we go, 53K. Um, I, I should have seen that number jump up a lot more, but uh, let's see how it worked here for him at Awaken 5. What do we got going on, what do we got going on? Barely 100, okay. Now finally doing more than Silas. However, Silas, again, is in quite bad gear. Uh, look at my hex damage there. So um, Luguru also disappointing. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through, we're gonna tabulate all those results. We're gonna put them in a spreadsheet and we will be right. All right, so the results are in. Um, let's talk about them. So let's uh, let's put them up here. So these are the runs. Now, Valderon A0, Scarlet Hunt 67. A1. The A1 causes problems because the A1 basically means he can't use his ultimate at certain times, so it messes up the timing. That's why I think he lost damage. Again, I didn't do a bunch of averages for each run. I just did it once and then awakened him because I don't have like seven hours to make this video. Um, there we go. A1 seems to be a decent bump. Um, A1 definitely seems to be a decent bump here. Let me pull him up and just kind of look at, let me refresh my memory, um, what the A1 does for him. A1, A1, A1. When deployed, gains one stack of chaotic vitality. Yeah, okay. During that period, ultimate becomes unavailable. That's what sucks. Um, faction allies deal more damage. That includes him. And then... Ignore 50%. You know, the A3, I thought, might have should have been quite amazing here. Um, it definitely boosted him a bit, but um, yeah, interesting. Interesting, right? So A0, um, A1, we got a little bit. Then we swapped over here. Obviously, that was a big damage boost just from that. 
Um, so if I were to say like whaling skull A1 and just kind of estimate about where I would be, um, that would be, let's see, this jumped up like almost 20 mil just for changing artifacts. So if I went up, that would be 70, um, 60, 70, 80, you know, 90 mil ish. Um, so it looks like A1 does nothing, it, it, you know, like, let me estimate it. You know what I'm saying here? So if this is uh, A1 with whaling sorry a0 I basically just add um 20 mil here and we'll call that 60 70 87 1 2 3 1 2 3 and I'll highlight this red because that's not going to be real um yeah see a1 that that's what I thought okay that's what I thought that's what I thought so um the artifact made a big difference a1 didn't a2 was solid right 82 was a nice little increase and um, a3 was a nice little increase a4 a5 doesn't really matter honestly um so awakens are not big on Valderon. you really don't want that many awakens honestly because if I would have just done a0 and stuck with a0 and a wailing skull I would have been doing fine so honestly at least for guild boss surprisingly the awakens don't make that much of a difference they really don't um all right that's gonna be my video uh, kind of a long one but i wanted to test a bunch of stuff with him disappointing in guild boss i i kind of knew this would happen um he's not I don't, I don't think he's designed for guild boss i think he's really designed um for arena and he's kind of an aoe damage dealer right let me see what's going on here he's got single target but then he has some stuff that deals aoe damage right Maybe not, maybe not. Gains one sack, one potent reaches maximum, um, inflicts on nearby enemies continue, uh, continuously during the effect. Hmm. It does, this does AOE damage. I don't know, I think it's just, I think it's really, he just meant for arena with this uh, cost reduction. Um, so, I mean, he's only gonna be 14 in arena and uh, 25% chance to trigger chaotic, chaotic annihilation, deals one damage, and then it spreads, and it's AoE. So, I don't think this is really where he's designed. I think he's going to be really good in Immortal Codex. I can't test Immortal Codex. I can test Arena, but it's against basically bots. Um, so, that's going to be it for the video. I think he's going to be good in Immortal Codex. I think he's going to replace Gon for most people in Immortal Codex if you get him. But, I don't think he's massive. Again, with these chaotic heroes... Um, I don't think they're amazing unless it's PvP. Uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like and that subscribe button. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.